Hi, this is Eric Bixo with Advanced Nutrients and our 16th episode of Hydroponic Secrets. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about 100% organic bloom base nutrients. We're going to talk about some of the different subtleties in the formulations out there, all the way from the raw ingredients through to the manufacturing process, and I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks to help you get bigger and better yields out of your 100% organic nutrient feeding program. Now, when discussing organic base nutrients versus synthetic base nutrients, some people will refer to the organics as a recipe rather than a formula. Now, if this is the case, we all know that the best recipes start with the best quality raw ingredients. And Advanced Nutrients Iguana Juice Bloom is no exception. It contains a wide variety of 100% organic raw materials. Now, I could spend an entire show talking about the benefits of each one of these materials, but just to keep things brief, I'm just going to name a few of the ingredients. It contains alfalfa meal, kelp meal, fish meal, krill extract, volcanic ash, yucca extract, and more. Now, more importantly is the process used to extract all the valuable nutrients and additives and beneficials that naturally occur in these raw materials. This is done through an aerobic tea brewing process. Basically, microbes are supercharged in a watery solution containing very specific and particular amounts of these materials. As the nutrients are extracted, this Nutrient-rich organic solution is drawn through the tanks, filtered where it's aged, and then later fortified before bottling. The result is a 100% organic product that will give you yields equal to or better than any inorganic or synthetic base nutrient in the marketplace. The trick is using it correctly. If you visit advancednutrients.com and check out their feed schedule calculator, select the 100% organic chart. It will show you how to use iguana juice, grow and bloom in conjunction with advanced nutrients, other winning 100% organic products. These are proven recipes. They've gotten thousands of uh, different feedbacks from growers out there using this line. It works and it gives yields of exceptional quality, flavor, aroma, and taste. Now, for growers who just want to keep it basic, maybe you're new to growing, maybe you can't afford all the additives, all you need to do is use one tablespoon, that's 15 milliliters of iguana juice bloom per gallon of water. This provides your plant with all the necessary macro and micro elements needed to give you respectable and tasty harvests. Now, with any organic product, good, healthy, microbial life around the roots is important. Although a lot of these materials have been broken down into plant-available nutrients, there are still some raw ingredients that can be further unlocked to your crop's benefit. By applying piranha, tarantula, and voodoo juice and a healthy growing medium, you're gonna have billions of these microbes to convert raw materials into highly available and very beneficial plant substances. If you choose to grow 100% organic, I prefer a media-based system over a water culture system for this type of cultivation. Coco Coir is an excellent choice. It's reusable, by the way, and it has the same or better properties than rock wool. It has a phenomenal capacity to hold air. Now, air is very important to the microbes responsible for the availability of nutrients in organics. You need to have aerobic microbial activity. This means in the presence of oxygen. If your growing medium becomes too saturated, too heavy, or too warm, you're going to get what they call anaerobic conditions, which means lack of oxygen. These types of conditions are favored by microorganisms that will cause you root rot and many other problems. So make sure not to overwater in organics and have a nice fluffy growing medium. Think of a moist chocolate cake. That's the type of texture you're after for your roots. Now, whether you're an apprentice or a master grower, 
100% organic base nutrients have something to offer for you. For the novice grower, organic nutrients are much more forgiving. You greatly reduce the risk of over fertilizing your plants, which is a number one cause of problems in the less experienced growers I speak with. Now, for the more experienced grower, adding a 100% organic base nutrient is gonna unlock the full potential of your crop. This includes things like flavors, colors, tastes, and essential oil production. While it is true that the 100% organic base nutrient contains 16, the necessary 16 plant available elements required, it also contains thousands of other compounds that your plants can benefit from. This includes bioflavonoids, polyphenolics, vitamins, amino acids, the list goes on and on. This is like handing your plant a big bin of Lego to play with. It can make anything it needs or wants and a happy plant is going to serve you well. People have often asked me if I go 100% organic, I imagine I'll get better results, but should I expect a diminished yield? Well, this does not have to be the case. In a side-by-side -side test conducted in a sealed growing environment on three different plant varieties, the only difference was one set of plants was being fed with a 100% organic program, the other with 100% synthetic. The 100% organic actually out yielded in all three varieties and with a noticeable increase in resistance to powdery mildew. So on your next crop, Give a 100% organic feeding program a try. You might be pleasantly surprised with the results. For other tips and tricks from industry professionals such as myself, please visit the link at the bottom of your screen. That's www.advancednutrients.com slash newsletter. To the email of your choice, you're going to be delivered some excellent tips and tricks that are going to help you get bigger and better yields. This has been Eric Bixa with Advanced Nutrients and our 16th episode of Hydroponic Secrets. Thanks for joining me and see you here next time.